With a rise in people traveling with guns, TSA agents are showing people to how, how to properly handle those weapons at an airport. Fox's Desiree Fluellen shares the agency tips for declaring firearms. At no time is a gun, bullets, or any kind of gun component allowed in your carry-on luggage. That's the message they want all of us to hear loud and clear. Since the beginning of this year, TSA officers found 120 guns in carry-on luggage at Sky Harbor. 120 too many. Please check your carry-on baggage for firearms and that message plays throughout the airport to remind all of us that at no point is a firearm allowed through the security checkpoint in our carry-on bags. We had five guns that were found uh, by our officers. Those are guns that were prevented from making it on board an aircraft. That's just within the past week. But as I write this report, we've learned two more guns were found this morning. If you own a firearm, maybe you should be more responsible, listen to the laws, um, just read up on them. You can fly with a firearm. TSA officer Cesar Esquivel shows us how. should always be in a hard-sided case as an example as we see here. The gun has to be empty. Make sure that there is no ammunition inside inside the uh, firearm. If we have a case like this, you kind of have another compartment here. Can we put our ammunition here? Yes, you can put your ammunition there um, as long as it's in the original box that they buy, the original packaging. At the airport, you must declare your firearm with an airline agent. Always declare that you're flying out with a firearm. And lastly, the case cannot be vulnerable to being pried open. Has to be locked. Has to be locked. If you violate any of these rules, the fine could be as much as $15,000. That's fair. You know, just read up on the law. It, it's your duty if you're going to own a firearm. Just read up on the law and be responsible. Desiree Flewellen, Fox News.